Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I have a very awesome, exciting video. I just get so happy on the inside even just thinking about this. The Walking Dead, the second half of season six just came out and it was freaking epic. I'm gonna talk about all the things that happened. So if you haven't watched season six, episode nine, go watch it right now. You won't be disappointed, like, oh my god, this one is amazing. While I was watching this episode, I made like all these notes. And as I get further into the episode, my caps lock handwriting comes here. So I'm just like losing my shit here. So let's start at the beginning of this episode where uh, Daryl, Sasha, and Abram are, you know, confronting Negan's group. And I've heard a lot of things about Negan because I watched this guy's reviews on YouTube as well. I will leave his channel somewhere around here. He makes awesome reviews and he has read the comic series as well. And Negan is apparently this super evil villain, like even more evil than the governor. And I was just like getting so afraid. I was like, oh my God. What's gonna happen? Negan is gonna be so bad and I don't want things to happen. I don't want things to go down. So when Daryl was sent at the back of the van, I didn't know that there was like loads of guns and ammo behind it, like in the van. I forgot that. Sasha and Abram, they were held under shot by Negan and I was like, <gasps> Negan said like, I'm not gonna kill you. And then he was like, I am gonna kill you. He held up his two guns and then poof, this explosion. That was crazy! I was like laughing so hard. That was like so funny and I was so happy that it happened. Like this is one of the main reasons why I love Daryl. Like Daryl is definitely my favorite character in the whole show. But this is just one of the reasons why I love Daryl so much. He's just so badass. So at first I was questioning if Negan was really dead but then you saw like his head burning and I'm pretty sure that he's dead. And I think that a lot of comic readers will be kind of upset about it because I believe that they were very curious to see what the show was gonna do with Negan. I actually was too, but right now I'm actually just really happy that he died. So after that shot, you see just the whole group, you know, running through Alexandra and like those guts covered sheets things. That moment when Sam was, you know, rehearing the words that Carol said to him, like, you are gonna die no matter what and they will eat you when you're still alive. I thought that it was very sad. I did not like Sam at all, especially in the end of the first half of the season when he was just like, mom, mom. I was just like, shut up. You've been in your room for the past, I don't know, month maybe. And then he got bit by the walkers and I was just like feeling so bittersweet. Like I was actually quite happy that he died because he was just so annoying and he just wasn't prepared for this world. But then again, it was just so sad. And then Jesse, I did not like that death. I mean, I did see it coming. She was just like screaming for her child, which is obviously something that every mother would do. She saw Rick and he really liked Jesse and I didn't cry when she died. I just felt so sad. So then we go to Carol's group with Morgan and uh, Rosita and you know, all those people, Eugene and stuff. Oh, I was still so mad at Morgan when he did not kill that wolf guy. Like, oh, still so mad. But later in the episode, you find out that the wolf guy was trying to help Denise get to the other side and he got bit by a zombie. I was so happy that he got bit because that dude, that dude was like, who oh no, mm -mm. I did not like him. Of course, no one liked him. If you did, you are a psychopath. So then we go to Carol's group with Morgan and uh, Rosita and you know, all those people, Eugene and stuff. Oh, I was still so mad at Morgan when he did not kill that wolf guy. Like, But later in the episode, you find out that the wolf guy was trying to help Denise get to the other side and he got bit by a zombie. I was so happy that he got bit because that dude, that dude was like, who oh no, mm -mm. I did not like him. Of course, no one liked him. If you did, you are a psychopath. I was so happy that he got bit instead of Denise because Denise is like this doctor. And again, I've heard that she's gonna play a bigger role in the series and I'm really happy because she has like some doctor experience, which is really great in a world like this. So back to the scene where Rick and Jesse and you know, all the shit went down when Jesse died. Jesse was still holding Carl's hand, like that was so creepy. Rick got like so mad and he chopped off her hand. I first was like, oh my God, he's gonna chop off Carl's hand. But then you see this other son of her, you know, he sees like his mother and his brother die. And right now he really wants to shoot Carl because as you remember at the end of part one of this season, he was gonna shoot Carl, but now he had like definitely a reason to shoot Carl. Well, actually not because Carl didn't do it, but you know, when you look in his mind, it would be logical for him to kill Carl. And Michonne killed him, which I was very happy about. It still heard him fire some shots. And I knew immediately that it was gonna be Carl's eye that was 
gonna be hit. Like I said again, I've seen reviews of people who've read the comics and they were talking about Carl missing an eye. So when I heard the two shots, I was like, okay, Carl's eye is gone. He's gone. You saw Rick looking at Carl and Carl was like, Dad. I can definitely see something happening where, you know, he's trying to cope with his loss of an eye and then he probably doesn't see a zombie coming and he gets bit or something. There could be a very good chance that Carl might die in the season, but again, Rick is so protective of Carl, so not too sure. When uh, Rick brought Carl to like the medical care thing with Denise and when Rick ran out of the house, I was like, Rick, what? what are you doing? But then, you know, you saw the whole group coming together and trying to help Rick. But it was just like such an awesome scene to see everyone gather around Rick and killing all those zombies. They knew that if they would fight together against all the zombies, everything would be all right. After you saw all those people fighting, you saw the scene where Glenn was trying to save Maggie. And I truly believed that Glenn was gonna die this time. So I was, I was like crying. I was like, no. Glenn is one of my favorites. All the zombies were getting at him and he was like in this corner. Then all of a sudden while he was in that corner you heard like <laughs> and Abraham and Sasha man. Oh my god you guys are so badass. I was like oh man yeah you did it. <laughs> so then you saw Daryl putting like gasoline inside the water and you saw him lit the water on fire. Oh man. Oh man, I was so happy. I couldn't be happier anymore. I was just like, oh my god, the zombies are gonna go into the water and they were gonna die. <sighs> this is a masterpiece of an episode. I'm very curious to see where the second half of the season is gonna go because this was like the big thing that they were gonna build up to from the start of season six to right now. I am very excited to see all of your thoughts and opinions on this episode. Leave them in the comments down below. This was absolutely, with no doubt, like one of my favorite episodes of all time from The Walking Dead. It's like definitely my top three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.